Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you for taking the time out. Um by giving yourself that self-care, being able to love yourself behind by, by, mm, behind every measure. If, and you're working on yourself to be able to love yourself by every measure. Um, just any abundance that's coming towards your life, I hope it is mag magnetized. That's what I meant to say, you know. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> you know, I get tongue tied on some of the words, y'all. But anyway, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you um are com uh, comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video you're just up telling me about your empathic gifts and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the the videos is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times right now and um are trying to find their confirmation or validation towards their soul purpose or even their life path please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And I hope you, um, I say thank you for the support and much love to you. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today my video is about, uh, sorry, I'm already jumping over the, just jumping, jumping ship, Ugh, jumping ship. Uh, the video I'm listening to today is called God Says Yes. You can have the life you always wanted nine hours of manifest while you sleep music and i will post that link in the description box below and um my video is about twin flame 101 hey Oka seeing 12 12 your healing is on the way at the otw you know when you you know shorten stuff when you send a uh, message um it's just like, you know, when I was making my thumbnails, I got I got this app that I make thumbnails on it. It just so happened I was making that and I looked up at the clock. It was 12, 12. And right before that, I had an emotional shift. Um, and it was like so beautiful. And all of a sudden it, it made me cry. And I was just like listening to music, you know, that, you know, these people are putting out that hasn't been, um, released yet of my dad's music so I was listening to a lot of that and it you know it brought me a lot of comfort so it's just like you know you've been going through traumatic cycles you've been going through shifts left and right um dealing with the full moon the snow moon um the crescent uh the spring equinox um the retrograde Mer mercury retrograde all these different things is being amplified in your life for you to be able to heal on so many different levels on so many different directions because it's like with us it's like we've been getting so many upgrades we've been getting so many downloads you've been probably getting different visions that you're trying to make sense from you know you've been dealing with a lot of archangels that has been appearing in your life um things are like echoing to you that you know you're you're hoping for you could be saying something and it, this confirmation to send you back there's a lot of things that I've been seeing and I'm like not even two or three days later it, it's been projected back to me and I'm like whoo gotta chill and it was just doing that today you know just doing different things and being able to have that blessing and you know you know you've been going through a lot you've been running that race with yourself and I know at times it, it really gets hard and you know excuse me and I know at times sometimes you prey upon things and it feels like you know universe is not hearing you you know you feel like you're being ignored it, it takes you to a really dark place this is that confirmation to let you know you're you're healing you know if you click on that button and you you got this that's that's a sign already to let you know you're healing you know you're about to be able to enjoy the fruit of your labor you know, but you have to be patient for that. I have to tell myself that too. You got so many different things coming to you on so many different directions, on so many different levels. 
you know, in so many different magnitudes because you're, you're, you know, you're healing yourself. You're seeing the things that you need to let go of. You're shedding so many levels and layers of yourself so you can be able to, you know, blossom out as that authentic you. You know, you've been in that caterp caterpillar of healing to where, you know, you're about to sprout your wings out and fly. You know, um, you've probably seen a lot of spirit totems, you know, cardinals, blue jays. Um, I see a lot of people that have, they're, they're having fireflies, you know, come towards them, butterflies, different color but, butterflies, you know, um, you, if you have those, you have to always make sure you, uh, cause it depends on the color to what meaning is trying to bring towards you. You know, um, you've been hearing a lot of different voices that are coming towards you that, that are sending you that reassurance to let you know your, your dreams have been getting vivid. You know, then sending you the answers of things that you need to work on or things that are coming forth, like that omen is coming forth for your life. And it's not, when I say omen, you know, a lot of people think of, you know, evil stuff. And it's not always like that. You know, it could be, be a warning for you to watch out for stuff or people that are around you that are not healthy for your, your growth, you know, um, or heralds that are, that are coming to your life in imminence. You know, all these beautiful things that are going on, you know, you're paying attention to all these things, you're healing, you know, you're releasing a lot, you know, you're probably crying because it's just like, you know, lately I've been getting aggravated. As a matter of fact, I was watching, me and my daughter went on like a, a movie spree. We watched like uh, Polaroid. I mean, if you're in a horror movies, I love that movie Polaroid. It was really crazy and it triggered me, but it allowed me to release. A lot I'm not gonna give out the information you know if you want to watch that you know I went on one of those sites so I ain't about to go all there but you know I watched it on that site and it was good I watched the movie uh, the curse of La, La, La Luna yeah La, La Luna whatever it is you know the whipping woman and that really triggered me because anytime seeing any any children going through any kind of pain is enough to make me cry and I'm just like gosh I'm so open and I kept on hearing La La, La Rona my, my daughter kept on trying to tell me about it and I you know my, my tongue ain't rolling the R's like it wants to today but um being able to hear that you know because I've always used to hear about those curses and stuff like that growing up you know it was like a uh, a folklore that they used to do to keep kids in line and stuff like that if they were misbehaving with their families and stuff like that and the prodigy lord jesus that movie was like damn this stuff that we be talking about right now that we were going through you know recycled souls and all that junk but there's just so many things it's just like you you know if you're a movie watcher you know there's a lot of movies that you tend to pick out they might be telling you a little bit about yourself. Uh, it, it was just crazy about, you know, there are certain videos that are on YouTube that, you know, caught my eye. You know, I seen one uh, the other day. It was kind of, you know, half half of my story and half not because it was like towards the end. That wasn't even nothing that they even came my way. It was totally opposite. You know, it was this one about the girl, girl saying she she left her her adopted dad for her uh it was something that you know she found out she was adopted and her her dad was a musician or a celebrity and i was like damn <laughs> you know i was like let me go watch this and it was like it triggered me a little bit but it's just the way it ended it wasn't you know it was totally opposite on mine but it was very beautiful to be able to see things that resonate with you a lot you know when you're going through different stages of life uh of life things tend to gravitate your way it's just like when i start looking at my spiritual awakening learning about all the the spiritual enhancements that i had placed on my life you know and i noticed a lot you know i'm a movie buff so i you know i've collected movies like for 20 years i have over like 3,000 videos you know and had more until somebody stole them but there was a lot of things that me and my children gravitated towards you know they were growing up watching harry potter you know um Sabrina the Teenage Witch, uh, the the something witches of Waverly Place, you know, that Selena Gomez Di Disney jump, you know, all these different things. They, oh yeah, uh, what's that other one? They watched Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Yeah, Harry Potter, if I didn't say that already. And, there, and my middle daughter, she's open with her spirituality. And it's just like, well, my daughter, it's just like when she brought my grandbaby over here yesterday, I was like, whoa, she's like, what? You brought all type of energy in here with you. 
you know, I felt the energy shift, but it was like, I'm glad it was like something happy where I felt like, you know, she had a lot of spirits around her that is trying to help her bring her, you know, her self-esteem up, you know, help her lift her frequency up. Because my daughter been through so much and with her being an empath, you already know what you being a star seed or a crystal, you know, it's just about as bad as being a, you know, uh, indigo. They're going through a lot. And it's just, you know, with her, she's like, Mom, that's weird. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, that's weird. You know, she'd be like her dad. She's like, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> you know, be cutting it off. Like, I don't want to hear that. I'm like, okay, you know, when you open to it, I'll let you know. I'll, you know, I ain't waiting. But, you know, when you come to me and want to know, I'll let you know. So it's just like, you know, you'll still, you'll get the signs of a lot of things that is coming towards you that, the you know, the universe is trying to put in your head to allow you to know about yourself. You know, if you're not, you got to be open on what books are you intrigued to read you know what is the meaning behind it I always look I'm that part, type of person you know let me know if you're that type of person if you try to watch a movie you kind of feel like it gravitates towards you you try to see the sum of the story you know get to the bottom of it. I forgot the word I'm looking for but just basically seeing how it resonates with you is like what is the the, the behind the, the scenes you know meaning to it or whatever I can't find it I can't think of the word is in the tip of my tongue but all those things is gravitating towards you like I said you having vivid dreams you might catch yourself staring off in space and seeing a lot of things that you know are trying to come towards you you might you know your emotions are very agape like you might be more sensitive to things you probably require the drop of a hat you probably get this burst of excitement and don't know what the burst of excitement is but you know some good things is coming for you you know things are turning for you a lot of y'all have you know y'all have ended that emotional and heavy situation even though sometimes you might not you feel like things should be going easier for you and you have to because a lot of times if we stay focused on that negative bs you you going that's what the stuff you're gonna get back so allow yourself to let that go you know don't be don't be focused on something that happened yesterday today is a whole new day you know, if you know you can't change it, you know, you only can change how you respond to things. You only can change how you look at things. You can't change nobody else. So, you know, keep working on you and you'll, you'll get the answers that you're truly seeking. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I'm going to give a post notification out to Sammy Mackey. Much love to you as well. Lost Puppy and... And Gabriel, much love to y'all, my little stars, to uh, pupils. <laughs> they be helping me out a lot. Uh, much love to you. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. I pray for y'all each and every day. And I pray that you have the magnitude of abundance come in your life on every level, on every direction. Because you truly deserve it. And... Like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonate with the content of my video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and also share. And make sure you hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I will see y'all later. Be responsible and be safe in everything you do. And relax. Peace. Be wild.